this is Captain Chaudhary. Today I'm going to speak about list in uh, the sequence of understanding, learning basic calculations about stability and acquiring basic knowledge of stability. I plan to do the list, you know, what is list and probably do some calculations. Now list is caused because of transverse movement of a weight. You know, when a weight is moved transversely, when a weight is moved transversely, what happens is the center of gravity of the ship also moves transversely to the port or starboard, parallel and proportional as I always tell my students. Now, uh, it is possible that the <coughs> weight may not be moved transversely, weight, weight may be moved obliquely. So we can understand the shift of weight in two stages. In one stage the weight shifts upwards or downwards. In the second stage the weight shifts sideways. And uh, thereafter we can find out the resultant list. But at the moment let us only understand what is this transverse movement of the weight and how it causes the list. Now uh, we must also understand that in a listed condition the vessel can stay in equilibrium in listed condition which means that in listed condition center of gravity and center of buoyancy are in a vertical line. So let us look at the list diagram. Let us say that uh, the ship is listed uh, I have exaggerated uh, the list in this diagram but let us assume that uh, it is a small angle of list you know this is the keel, this is the center of buoyancy. Now, this is the centroid of the buoyancy wedge shifting from B to B1. And center of buoyancy of the ship shifts parallel and proportional to small BB1. And we say that uh, it comes to B1. And this happens upon shift of a weight sideways. Now, what happens when a weight is shifted sideways, the center of gravity also shifts parallel and proportional to the weight. It comes to G1. But what is important is in final equilibrium condition of list, G1 and B1 are vertically above each other. You know, which means that it is a condition of equilibrium and we can see the triangle and mind you, it's a small angle of list. And we can look at this triangle for the small angles. This point can be considered as meta center, and we have the relationship GG1 upon GM is equal to tan theta. So this formula can be used for small angles of yield. GG1 upon GM is equal to tan theta. So uh, this means that GG1 is equal to GM tan theta, which also means that the GGM which is caused because of shift of the weight W through a distance D. This is the weight W through the distance D when we shift W into D divided by displacement is equal to GG1. Which means that the listing moment, listing moment means W into D, a weight multiplied by the distance through which it is shifted. Right? Uh, this listing moment is equal to delta gg1 now uh, since the listing moment is equal to delta gg1 we can say that listing moment is equal to delta into gm tan theta so this is a relationship we can remember for doing the various uh, uh, list based calculation, the small list based calculation and uh, uh, there is a listing moment whether it is initial listing moment or final listing moment we always remember this formula listing moment is equal to delta into gm tan theta now this gm whenever there is a free surface effect present on board we say that this is gm fluid into tan theta so whether you see a ship in listed condition you can find out what is the listing moment that is present on the ship or after doing uh, the various operations if you know the other data you can find out what is the list right 
For example, if you know the displacement of the vessel, you know uh, GZ1, you know GM fluid, you can find out what is the list going to be. So we are going to use this principle and the most important formula to remember in case of list is that the listing moment, whether initial or final listing moment is equal to delta GM fluid tan theta. We can say that basically there are three types of list questions. Category 1 is when the vessel is upright and we do a certain uh, operation on the ship. Type 2 is the vessel is already in listed condition and we do some more operations and we get a resultant list. And type 3 is a vessel is listed and you want to correct the list. Let us look at the type 1 problem where the vessel initially is upright. Let us say that the displacement is equal to uh, 15,000 tons. Let us say the kg of the ship initially is mm, uh, 7 meters. Let us say the km is equal to 8.4 meters. And let us say there is a weight W placed on deck uh, 6 meters to port and at kg of 8 meters. Now we are placing the weight on the ship at a height of 8 meters, right? which is higher than the center of gravity of the ship. We might do one operation, we might do several operations, but then it is essential to find out what is the vertical shift of center of gravity because of loading this weight at 8 meters. And let's say that the weight is of 40 tons. So. Uh, we do kg by moment calculations. Kg by moment calculation means we place in the co first column there is weights in ton, right? Starting with 15,000 tons at a kg, that is meter, 7 meters, and vertical moment is equal to 105,000 tons meter. And then we place a weight of uh, 40 tons, right? Place a weight of 40 tons at a height of 8 meters. The vertical moment that is caused is 320 tons meter. Now the resultant weight is 15040 and here you have 023105 tons meter. So final kg is equal to 105320 divided by 15040. Now this is the final KZ. Assuming that the KM does not shift, KM does not change for small values of uh, uh, loading or discharging, we get the final KM remaining same as 8.4 meters and difference of KM and KG will give GM. GG1 will be equal to W into D divided by displacement and that's going to be 40 multiplied by uh, 6 divided by 15040. Now this is going to give you GZ1 and therefore we can find out the list as 10 theta is equal to GZ1 upon G. So this is how uh, the category 1 question we may do one or several operations on the ship at vertical heights above the center of uh, above the keel and on port or starboard side we may do loading we may do discharging but this is how we find out the uh, gm of the vessel and gg of the vessel and then we can find out the list let's do the second type of list question let us say the ship of displacement 18,000 tons, km maybe 8.6 meters, kg maybe uh, 7 meters and uh, the ship is listed 4 degrees to starboard, right? The ship is listed 4 degrees to starboard and we say that initial or final listing moment is equal to delta into gm tan theta right delta into gm tan theta is now with this relationship 
we are able to find out gm is 1.6 meter 8.6 minus 7 is 1.6 meters and tan theta is tan of 4 degrees we are able to find out the initial district moment it is loaded 7 meters to port of center line and let us say it is loaded uh, at a kg of 4 meters so once we have loaded this weight at a kg of 4 meters, we do kg by moment calculation, weights in ton, kg in meters, vertical moment in tons meter, and then the first line is always with the displacement at a kg of 7 meters. So the kg is 126, 128 divided by 18. 0, 3, 2 gives me 6.995 6.995 assuming that the km does not change for the small operation so km is 8.6 meters so the gm is going to be 1.605 meters now uh, as I had said one of the first things you do when you look at a listed ship is using this formula listing moment is equal to delta gm tan theta you find out what is the initial listing moment so initial listing moment uh, is 18,000 into 1.6 ilm initial listing moment is uh, 18,000 into 1 0.6 into tan of 4 degrees that gives me 2013.9 2013.9 tons meter now we have initial listing moment as 2013.9 tons meter to starboard and we have loaded we have loaded a weight of 32 tons 7 meters to port so the port listing moment port listing moment is going to be 32 multiplied by 7 that is 222 224 so uh, what happens is when you load on the port because port listing moment initial listing moment was stubborn the difference is going to be resultant listing moment So whether you talk about initial listing moment, you talk about the final listing moment or you talk about resultant listing moment, the formula remains same. And what is the formula? The listing moment is equal to delta, this is going to be equal to delta, delta is 18032 into gm, gm is 1.605 into tan list. So uh, this is 1789.9. So what is the resultant list? That will be 1789.9 divided by 18032 equals once again divided by 1.605 equal to shift 10. I get the list as 3.54 degrees 3.54 degrees to starboard that is the list I get so this was uh, this was the type 2 question right the list which I've got is 3.54 degrees to starboard this was a, a situation where the ship was already listed and we do certain operations and the list changes this is how we find out the final list so the first thing that we do in this category of questions is find the initial listing moment. Now the next type is we have a listed ship. Let us say this particular ship only. Uh, let us take the same condition 18,000, 8.6 kg 7. The ship is listed 4 degree to starboard side. And if we have to ballast on the port side where the centroid of the ballast tank is 9 meters to the port. The ballast tank 9 meters to port of center line how much ballast should be pumped in so initial listing moment we have got is 18,000 initial listing moment is tan 
4 degrees equal to into 18,000 equal to into 1.6. So initial listing moment is 2013.9. We need to put the ballast. Now please understand one thing. When the list has to be finally corrected, it is not important that what is the final center of gravity position of the ship. As long as the ship is not uh, negatively stabilized, that means the ship does not go to negative stability. As long as the stability is positive, we need not worry at what kg the weight is loaded or at what kg the weight is transferred. Right? We are uh, uh, placing a weight at a position are a position 9 meters to the port of centerline because we have the relationship gg1 upon gm is equal to tan theta right now list is going to be zero so tan zero is equal to zero so gg1 is equal to uh, tan theta into gm or gm tan theta so it does not make a difference as long as this part is zero it does not make any difference as to what is the gm of the vessel so uh, uh, regardless of at what point we are uh, loading a weight, you know, the list would be corrected as long as the counter listing moment is equal to 2013.9. So what is the weight? That would be multiplied by 9. This is the counter listing moment. This is equal to 2013.9. So uh, 2013.9 divided by 9 gives me... 223.77 223.77 tons of ballast should be loaded should be uh, uh, the vessel should be ballasted with this amount of ballast you know this will correct the list